Unfortunately, things are progressing a great deal faster than we'd first anticipated. Of course, if you've changed your mind, there are treatment options. Chemotherapy, for example. No, I don't think so. So soon, ready for round two. It is you, Rich. Where's Alfonso? Indisposed. <laughs> what are you doing in there? <laughs> Something smells good. <laughs> oh, Elizabeth, you didn't have to. <laughs> it's the least I can do. <sighs> You've been out a while and I know how grumpy you can get. Oh. What have you been doing? Thank. Mm -hmm, that is exciting. No wonder you're so happy. <laughs> hey, I made your favourite. Sausage and mash? Yeah. Lincolnshire? What else? Veg? Absolutely not. <laughs> My dear, you're an angel. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, there's some posts for you. Buy your place, Matt. Uh, Elizabeth, where's the uh, paper? Buy your fork. <sighs> I'll be off then. Rich? You okay? It'll be a year tomorrow. I'm sorry. Who isn't? You were her idea, you know. Last few weeks she could feel it coming. She said I'd go crackers on my own. That the girl at number seven had a kind face. <laughs> said the hardest part would be me not scaring you away. <laughs> She never stopped, bless her. She used to do an impression of that cartoon bird, what's his name? Um, always laughing. Uh, Woody Woodpecker? Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> She'd come up and, and laugh like him. Drove me insane doing all the voices she did. Pull yourself together, woman, I used to say. <laughs> Didn't realise how much it made the place feel like home until... Rich? I'm fine, Elizabeth. I just... It's so quiet sometimes. What are you doing? I'm going to put the kettle on. No, Elizabeth, you go home. You're Rich, only done. just this once. Listen to me. You sound like Margaret. <laughs> and she must have had the patience of a saint dealing with you. Now. Do you want to see a cuppa? Perhaps something a little stronger. Mm. <laughs> <sighs> no, I don't think so. You are entitled to make that choice, but I implore you to reconsider. How long? Weeks. Conservative estimate. Weeks? <laughs> wow. But there are options. Should you reconsider, we could buy you a few months. Time to say your goodbyes, your prayers and love. I don't think it's too much. Maybe I'll say a few months to the last of the time you've ever asked me. You might have me at one time. Oh God, wake up! Rich! Oh, thank God for that. What time is it? Have I missed Antiques Roadshow? Rich, look at me. Are you all right? Are you blubbering about? I'm fine. You wouldn't wake up. I brought you a cup of tea and you were so pale. I, I couldn't find a pulse. I thought you were dead. How long? I've known for a few months. The book club people drank. Rich, that's not what I meant. Long enough. 
Long enough for what? You want to finish it? You should donate some of your drawings to the church, he used to say. Don't be stupid, woman. Nobody cares to look at these old things. But she cared. She wanted to see them there. And I feel like maybe if I get this one up in St Andrews, she'll see it and know that for once. I listened. Come round tomorrow, after work. Good night, Elizabeth. Your wife used to join us every week. Margaret, you probably remember, I took the hind leg of a donkey. You're Richard, the, the artist. Mm. I was sorry to hear she'd passed away. I won't be that far behind her. You're ill. Mm. I want to know if I'm doing the right thing. How so? I've got somebody looking after me. I worry that the, the way I'm doing it will upset her. Are you contemplating taking your own life? What? No. Fuck, no. no. Oh, please. <sighs> Sorry, I'm not very good at... I'm refusing treatment. And I'm worried about Elizabeth. Hmm. There's no harm in your choice, of course. But, uh, and I mean no disrespect. Uh, why come here? You don't seem a very devout man. I woke up on my kitchen table this morning. I remember last night being absolutely convinced that my bed was wrong. I woke up anew, like sleepwalking. Except... It's this thing. <laughs> Shorting out now, it's got a lodger. I think for the first time I realised how quick it... I'm scared. And you comforted Margaret when she was. 
By the time she was in hospice, she treated it like it was a minor inconvenience. Cared more that the next series of Bake Off would have adverts. She made it seem so easy. She wanted to know that you were ready. She loved you, Richard. As an observer, I believe you're not scared so much of what is to come. In fact, you seem readier than most. But what you are scared of is leaving somebody behind, as unprepared for your absence as you were for Margaret's. I'll leave you with that. Journey over. No, go and wait in the living room. I'd like to have a chat. I'm making you a fry up. <laughs> I could have handled yesterday better. Don't worry about it. No, I mean it. Remind me to remember the bacon. It should be a few minutes to go yet. Uh, I went to church today. What? I'm dying. I'm fine with that. When Margaret passed, well, we were together for 50 years. Something's missing. I needed... I want you to be okay. I will be okay, Rich. I'll miss you. Obviously. Obviously. My granddad was the same as you. He let himself pass when my nana died. He wasn't ill or anything, he just sort of slipped away. He was my best friend. The day after he died, you knocked on my door. It was like he never went away. I want to be with Margaret again. I never believed what she did. I know we'll be together again one day. Even if it's just on that shelf up there. <laughs> She'll be really glad to see you. And Rich? Yes? Don't forget the bacon. Oh, bollocks!